What's up, Quadcopter fans? It's HungryDrone.com, and today I'm going to bring you a video on a, a quick modification that I'm going to be doing to the JJRC H20 Hectocopter 6 axis gyro mini drone. So, when I purchased mine, very happy with the drone. <clears throat> Just one super big complaint is the battery bay and where the charger port or charger plug goes. Um, it's just not working. Um, some reason my battery is too big and I'll put it in here just to give you an idea of what's going on to where you cannot plug your charger plug in here with ease. It's very difficult to do, very difficult to remove um, and I, what I think the leading cause of this is and if I can get it out now let me try tugging on this without ripping it out so from looking at it if you look here this metal piece uh, sticks out a little bit further and then this wrapper on the top comes up around to seal up the battery um, so what I believe going what I believe is going on is that this metal piece is too far out needs to be bent over so then this way the uh, cover coating can be pushed up further and then that way it will fit into the battery bay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some modifications. I got some scissors, needle nose pliers, and electrical tape. So hopefully this does work. Um, so first things first is I'm going to cut back the plastic on here. I've already kind of ripped it up, gnawing at it, trying to get the battery out of the battery bay. So I don't think I'm doing <clears throat> really too much damage, but only time will tell here once everything's said and done. And my goal is to compact this top piece so that way this will fit into the battery bay. So I removed the plastic that is holding it together. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bend this looks like to be almost 10 possibly gum gum wrapper foiling and I'm gonna really try to pack this further in there I might need to even pull it completely off and it doesn't look like that is going to be a possibility so I'm going to push it further up try to get a little bit of a bend there hoping that it will still fit into the battery bay hoping that I'm not oops, probably had to put that in camera hoping that I'm not damaging anything in, internally in the battery um, but the way that it stands it's just not going to fly so have a little excess here I'm going to keep smashing this down, smash, push in, try to continue to get everything level. kind of taking a look at it seeing if possibly this this can come over be cut what can be done to correct this issue without obviously damaging anything so I might need to trim it back just a little bit more
definitely don't want to expose the innards of the battery here but I really don't have a choice I mean I'm either gonna break my charger port off and have this thing be non-flyable or fix the issue so Okay, so now I've cut this casing off. And we can see the wires are exposed there. And now if my thinking is correct. We need this to be pushed over and possibly trimmed. So it looks like our length really needs to be considerably smaller need to push these edges in okay now I doubt it will fit in there the way that I have it because it's you know obviously too bulky but let's just get an idea of what we're working with here okay so if it were to fit all the way into the battery bay that would solve the problem. So I am going to continue to trim back some of this plastic and I'm gonna take a slightly bit risky move and I'm gonna trim off some of this covering here. Because um, in reality this needs to be as flat as possible and just making sure I'm not messing anything up inside definitely do not want to do that I just don't know why that this was not in a workable condition when I received it but hopefully I can fix the issue here so I'm going to keep on trimming this back because I need this area as thin as possible some of you people that actually know about batteries you know obviously I don't really know what I'm doing here I'm just winging it hoping it will work some of you might be screaming at this video but I'm gonna give it a try see what happens so I want to tape this up I don't know if I really need it uh, the double adhesive tape feels on the um, piece of uh, covering there feels pretty secure but just to be safe you know it wouldn't be one of my drones if it didn't have 
some sort of duct tape on it, so I need to make sure it's part of my family, my drone family here. I'm going to lay that sucker on there like that. Try to get a flat, nice seal. Okay, so, you know, not that bad for my skills, but let's see if it'll work. It's the biggest test. So we're sliding it in to the battery bay and feeling a little bit of resistance and it's in. Awesome. Look at all this clearance we have now. So if you look, I can plug this in. Let's make sure that the lights are working and I didn't screw anything up too bad. And we got power. So I think I did something right. Hopefully. I don't see the front ones blinking, but that could be just an orientation issue. So not too worried about it. I really don't like this plug back here regardless. I mean, even though now I do have this clearance here, um, you know, trying to pull this thing out without messing up the wires is almost impossible. The easiest thing to do is grab some needle nose, give it a little wiggle. Um, it just seems like this thing is ripe to be broken. So hopefully that helped anyone else out that was experiencing this issue. But look how much space and room I have now. You know, this thing is jammed down in there. Hopefully everything is working. And I won't have any future problems of possibly breaking this off or ripping these wires out. So if this video helped you out in any way, Definitely give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos.